we are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Absolutely. Zolts, nada. Nothing to sail with anyway. You're not even with a code D. Lots of little fishermen around here. Busy with the next batch of rum or gin. And. Pietro is here at the helm looking at we don't run overrun a little fishing boat or run into a fish net. But there's a guy out kayaking. Is there a kayak guy? In the middle of the ocean there. Okay. In the middle there. of the ocean. You do know this is the Mediterranean Sea. Then in the sea. There, look at that. Or it could be a jet ski that's not working anymore or probably run out of juice. That's scary. Is he waving? Sure, he's waving. Get the far lookers. Let's see if we're rowing. Is he rowing? <laughs> <laughs> not waving. He's not in I trouble, for sure not. There's no wind, no swells, nothing. He's there fishing. Because yeah, there was this fishing boat close to him now, but he's gone off. Yeah, no. Wow, he has five fishing rods out on that little paddle board. Five. I was say his arms went crazy. I thought he was way a distress wave, so he was just organizing his life. So maybe yeah, he was, if that lines are not getting entangled, he's a very good, <laughs> not fisherman, line handler. We are, we are approaching Penescola. 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 Anyway, <laughs> that's it. And we need to decide whether we where we're we going to anchor and things like that. So what do we do? Okay, first of all, I'm checking Google to see if there is a dinghy docks available. <laughs> Very important. But we need to go and upload the next video. So that is pretty important, but there are winds predicted this afternoon and this evening. So we need to be out the swell and out the wind, obviously. So there is a plan B. On the other side, it's like a, it's a whole point coming out. So, so that is plan A. That was, no, that was no, actually it's still plan A. a. So we, yo, it's so still we're plan A. Checking out plan B. The plan B. To see if we have to run off somewhere quickly if it's going to be viable. No. Also, what we do is that we, on here, we make sure that we are zoomed in a lot, and you will see it's someone there added a rock. So that rock, and we're going to go very close past that rock. Um, so we need to make sure that we don't hit that rock. So very soon we need to maybe change. Let's go a little bit closer to shore. And also we check the depth. So we can see four, four, five, six. And we compare it with our depth. Uh, we've got now 10, and we now crossing the eight there's a 10 meter so we're crossing now the 8 so it's 9.8 9.9 so we 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 can for now say it looks like the depth contours is in line with the charts the best one is your eyeballs so your eyeballs need to check i see some fishing nets there and I'm also using the far lookers. We also have a little app called Navali, um, which shows all the anchorages and things like that. So you can see here it's showing now the anchorages for where we are, and that one is a red one. So it means just means that the protection is not as not as what the original guy was saying. So this is one place we can anchor, and that one. So for for example, if we look at that one, where we are going to now, we can actually see a lot of information. So over here, we can see the protection, which I also don't agree with because it will not get protection from that side. But we can also look at the weather. So we can see the swell. What's the direction of the swell during the night? So we know what to expect. So I see a lot of fishing flags. All the years that I've wasted Trying to find it All that I go through 
out the window No smoke in my eyes I can hear the wind chime It's always been Yes, uh, a water moat, moat, moat. What is it, a moat? <laughs> and the steps begin. <laughs> We're going to walk million steps again today. Oh. Yeah. It smells good. Out the window, no smoke in my eyes. I can hear the wind chime It's always been. We discovered this little place. It's so cute. It's not as cute as the previous one, but it's so cute. But the atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The atmosphere is actually quite cool. Look at. And look, look in, look inside, yeah. Look down there. To move on. It's such a cute place. Look at this. This is a big Mexican influence. That's very Mexican. 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 Oh, even the password is Acapulco. Acapulco. Capital of Mexico. Mexico. So we in in. The Mexican capital, capital in Spain. <laughs> it is very busy street, yeah. And I think we saw some uh, beer in Ham, and we we discovered that kind of like in Lisbon, and then also in the Canaries it was a big, big thing. These things, yeah. Yeah, these things. So we want these things. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Oh, hello. 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 How are you? Uh, very good. And you? Fine, fine. Special We we would like to have these these things. Yes. Where are you from? South Africa. I ah I I I, I travel two times in South Africa in Cape Town. Oh, oh the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. Yes, yes, yes. I have a lot of friends there. I know. Oh, you you. I I, I I hear your accent. I think it's Netherlands, but it's <laughs> from South. Africa. Not Netherlands, yeah. It is that time again. Speed lock is not working. But a water maker intake. Water maker intake. That's the important one. By 20 degrees, is that, it's not that bad. But rather you than me. <laughs> I won't make it. <laughs> wetsuit or no wetsuit. <laughs> We've got four cylinders. So I put it on and then I need to look at my watch. 
and this one says 136 bar Not a pit stop, it's a pee stop. <laughs> two shakes works, but after two shakes, then it doesn't work anymore. I'm I'm very old. Wrong intentions. I'm very old. I need to shake a shit lot. <laughs> My chair. Just don't I'm have shaking. don't have a happiness face though. <laughs> 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 Okay, we are anchored outside Valencia because we're going to have our Genoa fixed and siesta time is finished so we're going to go and explore the northern part of Valencia harbour. If you check all this chop and we are very close to the harbour wall, uh, we're on a limit that's specified by the EU regulations. But look at how the choppies, and this is what a big, first of all, big uh, tubes or pontoons on a rubber duck is good for, but also the heaviness, so we don't bounce so much. And we do bounce, um, and it's a, it's a pretty big chop. So, Peter will share a link on top to my dinghy. Mine is a little bit stretched. I need to do a loopy thing. I think we need funky ones. This thing funky is gonna ones. be around for a while, so I think we can invest in funky masks. I, I think we need to invest in a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Spending money on masks. Really? And it's damn cold. Very, very cold. And the place that I saw from Sisu is that place up there, but that looks very lonely. Because I thought that Wi-Fi we can catch on Sisu, because we're just on the other side it of the It looks lonely and it, and it looks closed. Entering Valencia Marina, and it's a there's two marinas. Northern side is the Valencia Marina, and the southern side is the the Nautic Marina. And in the middle is a huge container shipyard. It is a very very big container shipyard. And we are here to drop off our Genoa. You can see our Genoa is not on the furler. While we have time, how this worked is, I first called in, I first talked to, <laughs> I first talked to Northern Sales and they told me that I can pick it up here, there's a guest dock, then I called them on channel 67 and I asked them whether I can use the guest dock or the fuel dock. Valencia Marina, Valencia Marina, this is Sisu. Um, 
we right at the field dock. Um, can you assist us to 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 dock? <laughs> and our Genoa is here in the back. Uh, that is the no shoe zone or special sh shoe zone. And this is the loft. It's quite big. Yeah. It's so cool. They put a little thing here. Yeah. I mean, the whole floor is like this. So you can make a very big sale. <laughs> awesome. Aquí hay que desmontar todo. Cuando es strong, it will be strong enough. Maybe here we will put a, another reinforce because it's the area that. Yeah, on the edge we will put a, a, a tape here to reinforce. But this is the job to do. And we will be able to again go in 30 knots, 35 knots of wind, or no? I don't know. <laughs> I think start to break, to break from out of the let's say reinforce. Yeah. Reinforce. This means that the the clothes start to be a bit weak. So Two small damage on the last tape. One by Genoa sail coming up. All fixed. Me and one arm Pietro is going to do this. So let us see how we're going to do that. Uh, are you are you ready? One arm Pietro. I'm officially a one-handed sailor. <laughs> yeah, single yeah. handed sailor. A single handed <laughs> sailor. We are at the 
awesome place. The base. Uh, actually, the best place. Bienvenidos a la base de regatas, al chiringuito de la base de regatas del Real Club Náutico de Valencia. Okay. Os esperamos aquí a todos los que vengáis. Gracias. Oh. I think they said it was the best place in Valencia. The <laughs> so the only issue is that the females is like really not female friendly. They need to go all the way there. Chiringuito la base. Chiringuito la base. Valencia, Spain, Spain, Spain. We are, we are, we are the champions.